my dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh in today's video i will be telling you about the five miracles of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the first miracle of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the miracle of moon splitting into two pieces when the unbelievers challenged the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to perform a miracle he pointed towards the moon and by the will of almighty allah it split into two pieces it is the hadith of sahih al bukhari that the makka people requested the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam to show them a miracle and so he showed them the splitting of the moon after some time of staying in that state it eventually converged back to its original state although the disbelievers saw this event take place right in front of them as clear as crystal they still disbelieved calling the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a magician The second miracle of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the miracle of Isra and Al-Miraj. This miracle refers to the night journey which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made with the angel Jibril Amin. He went from Mecca to Jerusalem, Palestine. From there he ascended up to the sky and heavens to hold a meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By the time he returned to Mecca it was still night time The third miracle of the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the miracle of the tree that cried The prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would rest against a dry trunk and would deliver his sermons from there When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's companions finally built him a pulpit to give the Friday sermon from he heard a sound that resembled the crying of a baby camel he went down from the pulpit and made his way to the tree to embrace it it's the hadith of sahih al bukhari that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to stand by a stem of a date palm tree while delivering a sermon when the pulpit was placed for him we heard that the steam crying like a pregnant she camel till the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam got down from the pulpit and placed his hand over it the fourth miracle of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the miracle of water that flowed from his blessing hands On the day of Al Hudaybiya the people became very thirsty after completing the ablution the people had rushed towards the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he asked what was the matter with them they replied that they had no water for ablution or drinking except a small pot of water which clearly was not enough for them so he then placed his bless hand into the pot and water started to flow from his fingers like a spring everyone drank and performed the ablution that day it's the hadith of sahih al bukhari that the people became very thirsty on the day of al hudaybiya a small pot containing some water was in front of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and when he had finished the ablution the people rushed towards him he asked what is wrong with you they replied we have no water either for for either for performing ablution or for drinking except what is present in front of you so he placed his hand in that spot and the water started flowing among his fingers like springs we all drank and performed ablution from it i asked jabir how many were you he replied even if we had been 100000 it would have been sufficient for us but we were 1500 The fifth miracle of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the miracle 
of the wedding dinner when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam consummated his marriage to zainab bint jash may allah be pleased with her anas bin malik's mother um sulaim made them hajj a mixture of pure medina dates only enough for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his wife when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam received the dish from anas bin malik he told him to invite so many companions that the narration mentioned about 300 companions were invited that day he fed all of his guests until they were full once they were done the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told anas bin malik to take the dish away as he took the dish away he could not tell whether the dish was same when he delivered it or increased in its capacity